Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following the Cobra Kai saga, you know that Johnny Lawrence's journey from bad boy sensei to unexpected ally has been anything but smooth. But here's the million dollar question. Could Cobra Kai season six be setting Johnny up to take on an unthinkable role as a Miyagi-Do sensei? Let's break down the hints, twists, and tensions that point to this wild yet oddly fitting possibility. Spoilers ahead, so grab your G and let's dive in. When we think about Johnny Lawrence, Miyagi-Do isn't exactly the first thing that comes to mind. This is the guy who spent years antagonizing Daniel LaRusso and everything his bonsai-loving dojo stood for. But Cobra Kai has been about breaking down those barriers. And by season six, Johnny and Daniel's once bitter rivalry has evolved into a shaky yet promising partnership. One of the biggest clues about Johnny's potential future with Miyagi-Do comes early in season six. Daniel, in an uncharacteristic move, tweaks the iconic Miyagi-Do logo to include an eagle flying over the bonsai tree. This isn't just a design choice, it's a powerful statement. It symbolizes the merging of Daniel's and Johnny's philosophies, blending Miyagi-Do's discipline with the aggressive grit of Eagle Fang. Sure, Johnny promises he'll leave Miyagi-Do after the Seikai Taikai tournament, but let's be honest, when does Johnny ever stick to the script? Remember, if you get put in a scary situation, you don't back down. You gotta grow a pair of legs. Daniel's decision to include the eagle isn't just an olive branch, it's a sign of mutual respect. For Daniel, who's fiercely protective of Mr. Miyagi's legacy, altering the dojo's sacred emblem couldn't have been easy. Yet he does it to honor Johnny's contributions, suggesting that their partnership isn't just a temporary alliance, it's a long-term commitment. Of course, Johnny and Daniel have spent more time fighting each other than teaming up, but Cobra Kai Season 6 throws so many external threats at them that they have no choice but to work together. With villains like Terry Silver, Kreese, and the newly introduced Sensei Wolf wreaking havoc, Johnny and Daniel must put their differences aside for the greater good of their students and the legacy of Miyagi-Do itself. Two on one. Might actually get a good work out of Worked it out, man. Speaking of threats, let's talk about the Sekai Taikai tournament. It's the ultimate battleground where Miyagi-Do faces off against fierce competitors like the Iron Dragons. The tournament forces Johnny and Daniel to find common ground, and by the end of season six, their bond is stronger than ever. This sets the stage for Johnny to step up as a key figure in Miyagi-Do's future. The best defense is no be there. You mean don't be there? Guy teaches you centuries of his ancient family karate and you can't help him with his English? Don't even go there with me, Johnny. Now, here's where things get even more intriguing. The upcoming Karate Kid Legends movie, set three years after Cobra Kai's finale, takes the action to Beijing, where Daniel will team up with Jackie Chan's Mr. Han from the 2010 reboot. With Daniel halfway across the world, who will run Miyagi-Do back home? The answer seems obvious, Johnny Lawrence. He's the natural choice to keep the dojo alive and thriving in Daniel's absence. Think about it. Johnny's arc has been all about redemption and growth. He's gone from a washed up has-been to a dedicated sensei who genuinely cares about his students. Taking the reins of Miyagi-Do would be the ultimate culmination of his journey, proving that he's not just a great teacher, but also a true embodiment of Mr. Miyagi's values, albeit with a bit more edge and attitude. We need killers, not more nerd. While it hasn't been confirmed whether William Zabka will appear in Karate Kid Legends, it's thrilling to imagine Johnny leading Miyagi-Do into its next chapter. The idea of Johnny becoming fluent in Miyagi-Do's techniques and philosophy over the years is both ironic and deeply satisfying. It's a testament to how far he's come and how much he's learned from Daniel, even if he'd never admit it outright. But let's not forget, this is Johnny Lawrence we're talking about. His approach to Miyagi-Do would likely be a unique fusion of Miyagi's wisdom and his own no-nonsense street smart style. Picture a dojo where meditative breathing exercises are followed by intense sparring sessions and motivational speeches about kicking life in the face. It's unconventional, but isn't that what makes Johnny such a compelling character? Ultimately, Johnny's potential role as a Miyagi-Do sensei is about more than just martial arts. It's about carrying forward the spirit of mentorship and honor that Mr. Miyagi embodied. By stepping into this role, Johnny wouldn't just be honoring Daniel's trust. He'd be honoring the legacy of a man who believed in nurturing strength, compassion, and resilience in others. With a name steeped in tradition and honor, and a brand new patch. So, will Johnny officially trade in his Eagle Fang Fangs for a Miyagi-Do patch? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, if Cobra Kai Season 6 is any indication, Johnny's journey with Miyagi-Do is far from over. As the series hurdles toward its epic conclusion, the stage is set for Johnny to embrace a role he never could have imagined for himself. And honestly, we can't wait to see him try. 
That's it for today's breakdown. What do you think? Will Johnny truly become a Miyagi-Do sensei? Or is this just a temporary truce? Drop your thoughts in the comments, smash that like button, and subscribe for more Cobra Kai deep dives. Until next time, keep your kicks high and your honor higher. Wax on, wax off. I can't, I can't see. Use your other senses.